Okay. Okay, everyone. Oh, we're all well done eating today's problems, right? They kept the plan today, so I would. Oh, this episode's still going? Jesus Christ. Is this about the festival? Uh, sort of. We really have to do something for the festival. It's not like we can put together anything good in just a few days. We just end up embarrassing ourselves instead of getting any new members. That's a concern of mine, as well. I wish I could sound like Data. I think you would make a good Data. I, I Just... would like to point out one of the... The, the first... Uh, the first line and the last line of Monica's poem was, Save me. Yeah. And then her writing tip is about saving and loading your game. Oh yeah, that's clever. <clears throat> that, that oh, break, it's, it's because, uh... Yeah. Load me. Oh my god. Yeah, her whole poem is about playing video games. <coughs> Just wanted to point that out. Fuck you, video games. Stop being smart. Because I love you, Keith. To, to know this. I do well with last minute preparation. I just, I can't do the quiet girl voice. I can't do it. You're telling me to do it? No, fuck you. I'm doing say, all the uh, that's fine. I just no. Just a face. <laughs> no, like I, I wouldn't be able to do it anyway. I'm on a delay. You don't need much more than a few decorations. Shashash has been working on posters. I've divine <laughs> Their your name. What the fuck? Pamphlets, so we can go out during the event. <laughs> okay, now that's great and all, but that doesn't tell us we're actually going to be doing for the event. Ah. Oh. Sorry, I thought you heard about it already. We're going to be performing. But... Uh, Nani? 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 Yeah, we're going to be performing a poetry performance. Each of us is going to choose a poem to recite during the event. But the cool... Oh, you know what? Yuri should have like a high-pitched voice, right? We're also going to let anyone else come up and recite poems too. Natsuki should have a high-pitched voice. Yuri should be deeper. Who? Natsuki's oh, yeah. voice should be higher. You're right. Damn. Yeah, so like watch Monica a sauce. And... Putting it all on the posters. <laughs> oh my god. Else. Anyone wants to prepare ahead of time. <laughs> <laughs> and then Monica and Spelunking should have like a similar voice, just a different tone. <laughs> Spelunking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, I can't help it. <laughs> Who's been coloring a poster that holds it up for us to see? Are you kidding me, Monica? You didn't, you didn't already start putting up the posters, did you? Meow, well, that's right. <laughs> Meow, that's right. Uh, well, I did. Do you really think this is a bad idea? Well, no. It's not a bad idea. I didn't sign up for this, you know. There is no way I'm going to be performing in front of a group of people like that. <coughs> uh, I agree with Natsuki. I could never. Well, I'm gonna make her sound like a uh, er, Ari, er, um, from <coughs> FF7 Abridged. Oh, dude, you do it already. I could never in my life do something like that. Imagining it, Yuri shakes her head in fear. Guys! Oh, I had a funny one, but I forgot it. Fuck. <laughs> oh. No, Silver the Hedgehog. I understand where they're coming from. Remember that Natsuki and Yuri have never shared their poems with anyone until just a couple days ago. Uh, Kill me now. It's a lot like ice forms recite their poems out to loud riddle full people. I guess I kinda overlooked that. No, nope. I'm sorry. Mm. But we still think we should give it our best! We're the only ones responsible for the fate of this club. We start the event and each put on a good performance, and it'll inspire them to do the same. And then the more people who perform, the better we'll be able to share with one what literature is about. Yeah! 
It's about expressing your feelings. Being intimate with yourself. Oh. Finding new horizons. And having fun. That's right. And it's those reasons we all are in this club today. Don't you want to share that with others? To inspire them to find the same feelings that brought you here in the first place? I know I do. I know. We all do. And if that takes standing in front of the room for two minutes and reciting a poem, then I know you can do it. Mm -hmm. That's cute. And Yuri remains silent. Don't worry. Looks worried. Guess that leaves me no choice. I agree. I really don't think it's too much to ask. Uh, I think that uh, you two have been trying really hard to get new members. The least we could do is help them out a little, you know? Uh, maybe, but it looks like Natsuki doesn't have any arguments left. Uh, okay, fine. I guess I'll just have to get over it. All right. Thanks, Natsuki. How about you, Yuri? You directed <coughs> glances around at everyone else's expected faces. <sighs> um, guess I don't really have a choice. <laughs> That's it, everyone. You're the best, Yuri. This club is seriously going to be the death of me. Oh gosh. Oh, no. <laughs> Soundtrack. You'll be fine, Yuri. But anyway, let's move on to the main event. I want each of you to choose a poem of yours. What? Oh. Wait. Maniki. Yes, do you see me? Well, if you can't yeah. recite, <laughs> if you can't recite your poem in front of a club, how do you expect it to do it in front of strangers? Huh? Nani? Nani? Oh no! <coughs> oh no! Holy no. <laughs> shit! <laughs> I'll start off to help everyone feel a little more comfortable. Can I go next? <laughs> of course. Now let's see. Annika flips through her notebook to a specific poem she has in mind for herself. <laughs> the title of this poem is The Way They Fly. M. Oh, Michael spins her sight. A clear, competent voice fills the room. More than that, her infection is pristine. She knows exactly how to apply emotion behind each line she recites, bringing the world to life. Is this something she's done before? Or is she simply a natural? A natural? I glance around. Everyone has their eyes on Monica. Show you is amazed. Yuri has an intense expression on her face that I don't understand. Finally, Monica finishes the recitation. <laughs> Four of us applaud. Monica takes a breath and smiles. That, that was so good, Monica! <laughs> Thank you very much. I was just hoping to set a good example. Are you ready to go next? Sim Sam Bim Blim? Sim Salabi Bum. Uh, I'll go next. What? <coughs> Curie's fired up all of a sudden. Curie clutches a sheet of paper between her hands. Putting her head down, she walks quickly over the podium. This poem is called... <laughs> Shy bitch glances at all of us. Shy bitch. Do it, Yuri. It's called... I have a image of a crimson eye. Yuri's voice shakes. She starts to read the poem. Just a moment ago, she... I like how you read it fast. That's used good. to do this. Why is she suddenly putting in so much effort? As Yuri gets past the first couple of lines, her voice changes. Almost like what happens when Yuri gets absorbed into her books. Her quivering words transform into sharp syllables of a fierce and confident woman. 
The poem is full of twists and turns and structure, which it enunciates with perfect timing. This must be a rare glimpse into the whirling fire Yuri keeps concealed inside her head. Then, it's finished. Everyone is stunned. Yuri snaps back into reality, glances around her, as bewildered even herself. I... It's up to me to save the situation, as usual. You see, as I'm usual. the main character of a horror anime, so it's my job to make sure these girls stay in line. I'm the first to start applauding. Everyone joins me afterward. We give Yuri the recognition she deserves. It's not that we didn't want to applaud her, but we were caught off so off guard. We must have forgotten. As we applaud, Yuri holds the poem to her chest and rushes back into her seat. <laughs> Yuri! Oh no! You look good. Thank you for sharing. Looks like Yuri is down for the count. Okay! <laughs> I guess I'm next then. He just passes out. Route shipyard. Long ass day, isn't it? Hops out of her chair, cheerfully walks. This one's called My Meadow. Ah. <laughs> Sorry, I giggled. <laughs> Skywalker. Oh it's a lot God. harder than I thought. How did you guys do it so easily? Ah. Try not to think of it like you're reciting to other people, but more that there is no spoon. It's there your is no spoon. So you'll come out the best way that way. <coughs> I see. I see. Okay then. <clears throat> uh, Super Wifey no begins her poem. Somehow, it feels like her soft voice was made as perfect match. The poem isn't aimlessly cheery like it's... is. It's oh, I could have called her serene. Damn it. God it's serene. Bittersweet. <coughs> if I were to read this on paper, I'd probably wouldn't think much of it. But hearing it come from Sippet's voice almost gives it a whole new meaning. Maybe this is what Silver the Hedgehog met when he said oh my God. they like my poem. It's like I get to reach more deeply into someone I thought I knew through. Sonic finishes, and we applaud. <laughs> <laughs> That's going in the next fan fiction. <laughs> Did you break? Are you done? <laughs> I'm Sonic it. finishes and he <laughs> Good job, Sonic! Oh my god. <laughs> you kid! <laughs> I guess it's a good sign. <clears throat> it's not even mean. Came out nicely, Sonic. The atmosphere of the poem fits you really Why is nicely. she just Sonic now? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Other poems wouldn't work as well with that kind of delivery. <laughs> uh, I don't really understand. In other words, oh fuck, what a fucking, like, manga trope. In other words, I've seen poems of yours where that sort of gentle delivery wouldn't work as well. Might be a little more force behind it, depending on what you're reading. Oh, I know what you mean. That's, well, I've been practicing that kind of thing. It's just embarrassing to do for a Then, next time, I'm going to make you pick a poem that challenges you a little more. Oh, shit. Oh, well, shit. You don't have time for the festival, you know. Okay. <laughs> that was good. Good job, Keith. Anyways. Good job. Now, Who's next? Done good. Okay. That's Suki? No. <sighs> Don't make me go before Keith. It's not like mm -hmm. I can compare to you guys anyways. I might oh as well God. let Keith lower everyone's standards a little before I- Oh, you bitch! I'm not Suki. Yeah. 
It's fine. It's fine. I get it, Napoleon. It's all in cold. I might as well get it over with. It's not like I have a selection of what to read. I only have these two fucking poems. <laughs> okay, look at me. I stand up and step in front of the podium. Everyone has their eyes on me, making me feel terribly awkward. I recite my poem. Uh, um, I know it's the lack of sleep and the, the 14 hour work day. But I'm sad we haven't uh, said a peep. Uh, in years, not, not one of us tried to say, how's life? And I'm, I'm sorry. It's only when it's quiet. I miss looking up at this guy so starry. I thought we'd buy it. A product of us. And it's not really that I miss you. Because honestly, I'm forever done with that fuss. I'm just tired of... It'll be late at night, and I'll think of only a single verse. And I'll be so hung up on it that I'll be forced to stay up later and later just to make that work. Like, uh, blah, 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 fork. I miss you. But in this life, each other we never knew shadows of lost potential hidden in sleepless struggles here in the quiet i discover my voice words that allow me to rejoice my creed of flow in exchange for any happy glow yet i have as always found no other subject no thing goal or person to inject into my writing like a flu i'll always be infected by you Since I'm not exactly confident in my own writing, it's hard to put energy into it. Despite that, once I finish, I receive blahs anyways. Sorry, I'm not really as good as everyone else. Don't worry about it so much. I think it's less about your abilities and more about your lack of confidence in your writing. That's something that'll improve over time, though. Yeah, probably. Alright then. That just leaves you, Natsuki. Yeah, yeah. I go. Natsuki begrudgingly gets out of her seat and makes her way to the podium. This poem's called. <coughs> oh. Why are you all looking at me? Because you're presenting? <laughs> anyway, <coughs> this poem's called Jump! Dun dun dun. Run and jump! Oh. Stop. Natsuki takes a deep breath. When she starts reciting the poem, the sow attitude disappears a little. While she's still a little unfused, the poem has a rhythm. Right. It's Natsuki's trademark style, and it works surprisingly well when spoken aloud. The words feel like they bounce up and down as if giving life to the poem. Natsuki finishes, and everyone applauds. Cuffs back to so bad, was it? Easy for you to say. Hey, you better not make me do that again. Well, do you at least feel prepared enough to recite a poem in front of other people? I mean, doing it in front of other people would be way easier. I could put it on whatever face I want for other people, but when it's just my friends, it's just embarrassing. That's a surprise, Nikatsi. I thought it would be the other way around for me. Well, that's just how it is, so... Well, I <laughs> guess in this case, you won't have much to worry about for the festival. That said, I will freak out with common. It might be hard. <laughs> <coughs> okay. Make sure you pick a poem get enough practice before the festival, okay? I'll be making pamphlets, so let me know ahead of time what you'll be reciting. Jeez, I should probably find some other poem to recite instead. That's fine too. It doesn't have to be your own. I'm already pleasantly surprised that you're putting in all this effort for the club. Mm. 
It makes me really happy. Ah, yeah, no problem. Okay, everyone. I think that's about it for today. Thank God. I know the festival's coming up, but let's try to write poems <coughs> for tomorrow as well. It's been working out really nicely so far, so I'd like to continue that. As for the festival, we'll finish planning tomorrow, and then we'll have the weekend to prepare. Monday's the big day. I can't wait! I can do this. I can do this. Alright. Stand up. There's no way I'll be able to find the same enthusiasm as Simpson, Sumiribin, and Monica. But I'll do my best to get through it. For the sake of the club. That I don't Straight talk about. Club. And impressing Monica. Oh! Then I'll have uh -huh. to do my best to do my duty to God and my country, to help other people at all times. Oh my God! To obey the Scout Law. Keep God. myself physically strong. Until I hate, I hate I'm more so than much straight out. I hate you Why? so much. Is it because I'm just with people that Huffle from the is kind of beating me? Stop. 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 Yes, seems all a bit bad. Look at you two always going home together like that. Might as well be dating. Shut up. Kind of adorable, <laughs> isn't it? Shut up. <laughs> I already think we're dating. <laughs> Jeez, guys. Don't make such a big deal out of it. Everyone knows I just want to bang the student leader. Must be nice, though. Shut up. Shit. Well... I supposed to respond to that? It's okay, you, you don't have to say it. Oh, say what? <laughs> Whatever, let's go already. I walk home with the one that starts with an S once more. Even though it's only been a few days, a lot of things have already changed. But today, she is being a little quieter than usual on the way home. Hey, She-Hulk. Hmm? Sorry, God. I was spacing out. Oh my god. If only other people thought I was as funny as I think I am. Ah, Dude, no wonder. It's it's great. Um I was thinking about something <coughs> earlier. You know, like how we're technically dating. Like how we get to I mean I mean Um I already said She-Ra. Yeah. She, Sonic fumbles with her words. So oh let's just you let you that. know. God damn it. One day you asked me to walk. Oh, so let's just say that one day you asked to walk home with you. Huh? <coughs> uh oh. What did you do? It's the trap. Oh no. This is a trap, isn't it? Here we go. <coughs> Baiting a trap immediately. <laughs> well, God damn it, game. See, there should be a third choice right here that says, Why can't we? Monica? Both. <laughs> it just says Monica. <laughs> there, should be, there should be a little girl <coughs> right here, a little Mexican girl holding up a taco. Shell. And her family like lifting her up in the air, cheering, because she's like, "Why not Working both?" With those? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anyways, walking home with Yuri, huh? Why does the thought of that make my heart pound? I mean, given how hard it is for her to socialize, I'd feel awful turning her down. So, see, exactly, this is the truth. Good job, Keith. Isn't she so beautiful and smart? That has nothing to do with what I just said. I'm sorry, that wasn't anime enough. Uh, that wasn't nothing to do with what I just said! <laughs> you admitted <clears throat> it! Jeez. There's nothing... I've been trapped. There's, there's no point in speculating something that's never gonna happen. Well, maybe. But I just like to think about it. Because I'm a girl, and I like to think about things that hurt my fucking thoughts, and my brain is evil. Don't feel bad. All people are like that. Shimshan, Shimini Bam. 
Yeah. <laughs> Emotionally. Yeah. Not long before you won't need me anymore, you know? Aw, don't say that. <gasps> You're the best girl. Me? You? Soy sauce. I'll always need you. I can't figure out how you're seeing things in your head right now. Sorry. Everyone's different. Nobody in the club is a replacement for you. Hmm. Say so. Aw. That one cuts deep. Holy shit. Mm -mm. The conversation trails off. I'm feeling awkward. But it was kind of her fault for trapping me with such a weird question. Hey, he admits it was a trap. I can't just lie to her. But if there's something that makes her happy, I would hate to take it away from her. Well, I said there's no point in speculating. Then again, the festival is only a few days away. Oh no, I'm gonna have to decide who to take to the festival. I just love it. I love it. Natsuki's eyes just become black when she does her little jumpy thing. <laughs> it makes no sense. <laughs> Judgment. Judgment. Aww. Oh, man. Oh no, what am I doing? I'll tell you what I'm doing. I'm playing Doki Doki. I'm the last one here again. <laughs> Don't worry, right. I just walked into. Oh, fuck it. This is, I, I have to stop. Um.